Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this video is all about the NTA UGC NET 2021 Environmental Science paper. So we will discuss here from the memory based questions which Jacket members have given to me. So Jacket members have contributed the questions which came in the exam and we can also analyze that how many questions we have got correct. So आप ने कितने प्रश्न सही किए हैं? You have to comment me in the comment section from the questions. which we are going to discuss here so without wasting much time let's get started so before starting i would like to say that already a video i have made on the paper review and analysis for the 2021 ugc net environmental science paper for both paper 1 and paper 2 what was the difficulty level future plans so everything we have discussed in this video if you haven't watched this i'll provide the link in the i button so you can check there and then you can analyze the paper so here we have the question The first question for this video is select the correct statements regarding the project elephant. So these were the options given and we have to select which are the correct statement. First of all, it was started in the year 1992. So B will be correct this statement. And in this image I have provided in order to make you remember because the elephant which are having teeth and how many teeth we are having? We are having 32 teeth. That's why there are 32 elephant reserves in India. So like this way in the small tricks you can remember these things so b and c will be the correct statement those who have marked this they will get the correct answer let's move to the next question next question was match with the biomedical waste with the disposal bin colors several times i have repeatedly said this will definitely come and this has come in the year 2021 so here human anatomical waste they will match with the yellow color bins plaster cast will match with the red color glasses will match with the blue color bins and sharps item from the biomedical waste we have to dispose them in the white color bins some of you will be confused by blue and white whether we have to keep the sharps in blue or sharps in white but sharps will be kept in the white container glasses specifically for the blue container so here as we all know anatomical waste chemical waste soiled waste these are all kept in yellow color container contaminated plastic waste in red color glass waste and metallic implants in blue color metal sharps are kept in the metal sharps in the white color container which are punctured proof yes in order to avoid puncture we have to keep in the puncture proof container next similarly black color are for hazardous and other waste and light blue color is for the recyclable general waste and light green color is for the biodegradable general waste so these are all taken from the valid source which is for the management rules 2016 which was amended in 2018 and 2019 along with the covid 19 protocol so this i will provide in the description you can go and check the link from the authentic source i am providing this let's move to some of the more questions so as we have discussed in the previous analysis video maximum questions were like arrange 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 so arrange the following in the ascending order of the wet clod stability so here the in the options were clay loam soil silty loam soil sandy loam soil loam soil and sand from the given categories and here actually we should know before that water holding capacity so water holding capacity is maximum for the clay then loam then sand so here it is asking about the stability so most stable will be what it will be clay because it is having the more water holding capacity that's why if it is asking in the ascending order so in the last it will be clay so it will be more stable the most stable one so here this will be the sequence first it will be sand then sandy loam then loam then silty loam then finally the clay loam this is the order of the wet clod stability i hope you have done well let's move to the next questions So here the question came from the diversity alpha beta and gamma diversity so before that we should know that gamma diversity is equal to alpha plus beta diversity or gamma diversity is also known as alpha multiplied by beta plus 1 if this was not in the option then this will be the correct option so gamma will be alpha plus beta let's move to some of the more questions questions coming from the chemistry section the question was gibbs free energy is zero which means what So here if the gibbs free energy is zero that means the reaction is at equilibrium so here this option will be correct similarly one question i have already said this is also one of the frequently asked question something will be from pyrolysis 
so what is a pyrolysis everyone will be knowing it is a high temperature process so these two are eliminated not ambient temperature it will be high temperature and most importantly it is lacking the oxygen yes where anaerobic distillation takes place so option b here will be correct high temperature anaerobic distillation process is the pyrolysis process let's move to the next set of questions so this is coming from the minerals and metals the question was which of the following are correct about the ferromagnesium so statements were given the first statement here is they are silicaceous type of minerals absolutely correct ferromagnesium ferro means iron and magnesium they are composed of next is their bicarbonate type of minerals is absolutely wrong so you have to eliminate this option first and this is also correct they are black or dark green in color because of iron present so these two will be the correct statements if you eliminate the option b then you will get the correct sequence next question was from the arithmetic mean geometric mean and harmonic mean the question was given something like for two different observations we have to select the correct statement and in the statement it will be arithmetic mean will be greater than geometric mean but you have to remember the proper sequence that is harmonic mean is the least followed by geometric mean then the maximum is for arithmetic mean so this was also discussed in our statistics playlist let's move to the next set of questions so here the question came from the stp which we already did in our environmental chemistry portion the question was very simple at stp find the concentration of one parts per billion of sulfur dioxide similar type of questions we have already done in our channel so those who have done that they would have already done well here so concentration formula is parts per billion multiplied by the molecular weight divided by 22.4 so here parts per billion is given what it is given as 1 multiplied by molecular weight of sulfur dioxide is how much it is 64 divided by 22.4 so it will give how much it will give the concentration as 2.85 so around approximately 2.9 it will give it is in unit of microgram per cubic meter so microgram per cubic meter that is 2.85 microgram per cubic meter so i hope this was easy for you let's move to the next set of questions so this question was also discussed in our channel very easy question question was sunlight does not penetrate in which zone so if you know the zonation which we have discussed in the unit wise preparation so you know that littoral is the upper part limnetic profundal and benthic so in the options one more thing was there that is epilimnion so above part that is the topmost part of the oceans is called as epilimnion so you have to eliminate that thing it is asking does not penetrate that means it will be the bottom layer so here it was not benthic given so profundal will be the correct answer next question was flex piece species of kedarnath sanctuary is which of the animals so here if you know that kedarnath sanctuary is also known as what it is also known as kedarnath musk deer sanctuary so those who know that they will easily hit the option flagship species is musk deer for the kedarnath sanctuary let's move to the next slide so here the question was bit twisted the question was asking the bod value allowed in water for irrigation in the garden after treatment is how much so here if it would have asked for the land then it will be inland it will be 30 milligram per liter but if it is asking for garden it is also meant that it should be less than 10 milligram per liter but if you ask me i will go with 30 milligram per liter coming to the next question next question was ganga river originates from where so here some of you were confused between gomuk and gangotri so here gangotri is the glacier but gomuk is the origin point for the ganga river so gomuk will be the correct answer for this question next question was which one of the following is not a molecular technique to test biological sample in water so here rna sequencing pcr rt pcr all are for the molecular technique to test the biological sample but here that is most probable number to count the colonies most probable number for the water analysis and here i will go with mpn number which is not a molecular technique to test the biological sample in water next question was very also easy we have already discussed very easy numerical find the coefficient of determination where it was given that explained variance is 250 and unexplained variance was given as 750 so there was a simple chocolate formula i will tell you how to solve that so here the coefficient of determination is also called as the r square value and the formula is what ssr 
by SST. So here SSR doesn't mean Sushant Singh Rajput late, but here SSR means sum of squared regression and SST means the sum of squared total. So here sum of squared regression is also known as the explained variance. That means in the numerator it will be explained variance that is 250 divided by the total variation that means explained plus unexplained variance that will be how much that will be 1000 so 250 divided by 1000 will give the answer that will be equal to how much 0 0.25 is the value for this question chocolate question very simple let's move to the next set of questions so here again the question was asking about the arrangement so here it was asking arrange as per the hydraulic conductivity so before that you should know what is hydraulic conductivity it is a property of vascular plants, soils or rocks. So here in the question it was asking about the soils. But here it can be for vascular plants, soil or rock. What is that property? To ease with which a fluid, usually water, can move through the pore spaces. So how easily a fluid can move through that soil in this question was asking. And here it was asking arrange as per the hydraulic conductivity. So here sandstone will be the highest hydraulic conductivity. That means which will be having the most ease in which water or fluid can pass and less easier will be for limestone followed by sand and clay as we know the pore size is having the least that's why they will not move easily. So here clay will be at the last end with the least hydraulic conductivity among these four options. Here this question was from the match the following of the air quality index with the category 0 to 50 we should all know that it is the good category after that it will be deteriorating similarly 51 to 100 will be satisfactory 100 to 200 will be moderate and I guess it was 401 to 500 given for severe it was not given very poor so these are the things you should note down because it will help in the next exam also 201 to 300 is poor 301 to 400 will be very poor so those who have matched it like this they will get the full marks so let's move to the next set of questions here the question was again arranged as per the residence time of the chemicals. So here the chemicals were given OH, ozone, carbon dioxide, methane. So here the sequence will be we all will be knowing that maximum residence time is for the N2O and least will be for the OH. So here the sequence will be OH, then ozone, then carbon dioxide, then methane, then CFC11, then N2O. So if something is not there in the question then you can eliminate that. If carbon dioxide is not there or if methane is not there but this is the correct sequence so I hope you have done this well next was the numerical very easy numerical this was also we have discussed find the H plus ion concentration of 0 0.1 normality NaOH so here you should know the formula that is the KW constant value is how much it is H plus ion concentration multiplied by OH minus concentration and what is its value its value is 1 into 10 to the power minus 14 that's why we are having 14 in the pH scale so this is the value of the KW and what we are having we are having 0 0.1 N of NaOH that means it is telling about the OH minus concentration OH minus concentration is 0 0.1 or we can write it as 10 to the power minus 1 multiplied by H plus ion concentration which we have to find and how much it will be it will be 1 into 10 to the power minus 14 so if we solve this how much we will get we will get that H plus ion concentration is equal to 10 to the power minus 13 so this will be the answer for this easy question if you know the concept if you have practiced the revision series and have watched the video carefully in our channel then you would have done this question correctly so this question was also done several times through quizzes through revision that arrange as per the decreasing order of the heavy metals in the earth crust oxygen will be the highest concentration in the crust of earth followed by silicon aluminium iron calcium sodium potassium magnesium and other elements so here in the question i think it was asking about aluminium will be first then it will be iron then magnesium and other I think it was given as copper which you have said to me then it will be the sequence I hope you have done this question also correctly next question was the doubling time some question was there and here for calculating the doubling time the formula is what it is 70 divided by the percentage of growth rate and what was given in the question 20 was given as the percentage of growth rate so doubling time will be how much it will be 70 divided by 20 so how much it will be 
it will be 3.5 and you will get the full marks very simple 70 divided by percentage of growth rate will give the doubling time 20 was given as the percentage growth rate simply divide answer will be 3.5 next question was directive principle of state policy is according to which article it is according to the article 48a of our constitution you should also know that this we have also discussed again i will like to repeat that it states that the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country so the state shall protect and endeavor let's move to the next set of questions next question was arrange the albedo in the descending order descending means highest to lowest so highest albedo will be seen in case of fresh snow then followed by desert followed by forest area and the least will be in the ocean because it will absorb everything next question was india became a party to sites in which of the following years this was also a confusion for some of you sites the full form is convention on international trade in endangered species it was actually in signed in 1973 it was effective in the year 1975 but india became a party in 1976 so 1976 will be the correct answer so i hope you have known what were the questions and you have noted down how many questions you have done correctly and if you haven't joined our telegram group you can join there for the regular quizzes to prepare for the environmental science entrances learn for the environment is the group name you can also click on the link given in the description but no need to worry about this let the results come and we will see what is your performance so till then take care keep smiling and believe in yourself don't forget to subscribe the channel to get all further updates